Plan Friends, we're talking begonias today on Bloom and Grow YouTube Show. Okay, Plan Friends, I am so excited because I, um, if this week's episode of the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast was on begonias, and I've always been really scared of begonias, but I saw this particular begonia at Cultivate last year, which is an industry conference for gar for growers, and it's kind of a newer begonia on the market, and it's rare, and I was so taken by it, and. When I was at Cultivate, I said, okay, I'm going to do an episode on begonias. I'm going to learn more about them, and then I'm going to get this plant, and I did. So um, I can't believe I found it. It was on, so it's a red ruby, ruby red begonia, and the fun thing is it looks just like a Pilea peperomioides. So I don't know how I found it online, but I did. <laughs> for a really affordable price. So I found it, I ordered it, I wanna do an unboxing, and then I'm gonna pot it up and give you some general begonia care. So, I opened the top of the box because this arrived last night, and I couldn't set up my camera. But this is from Optiflora, and I ordered it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the show notes. And it's packaged really nicely. It's got these little air things, so I'll pop those and recycle that. Oh, it's wrapped this way. All right, I'm so excited. I am so excited to show you guys this begonia because when I saw it, I was like, oh. It like made me want begonias and I've never been interested in them before. Um, so this is how it's packaged, which is kind of clever. So let's see oh, what is going on. So the cool thing about it is it looks just like a Pilea peperomioides, but it's a begonia. Oh my God. Okay, clever, they did the plastic like this, but with a rubber band. Oh, plant friends, it's in such good condition. I can't believe I bought this on Amazon. Okay, hello, my friend. Oh. So, I'm gonna stick it up. So as you can see, it's got these pancake-like leaves. Oh my God, I'm so excited with the red dot in the middle. So it looks like a Chinese money plant, the Pilea peperomioides, but it's a begonia and it's got that sexy red dot. And if you can see, it's got red fuzzy stems. But look at how, oh, this plant is in amazing, this is in great condition. It literally hailed. It's the middle of May and we had the weirdest weather this weekend and I was thinking about this plant because I knew it was in transit, but it's totally happy. So, um, begonias on the episode, I had Mark Hatchadorian of the New York Botanical Garden and he gives so much amazing information. Click the link in the show notes to go listen to it of the podcast. But the thing with begonias is that begonias grow in every area of the world. They're a com very varied species. I think they have over 18 1800 different species of begonia. So there isn't like general care guidelines, but the majority of begonias that we have indoors like bright indirect light and well-draining soil, they like to dry out a little bit before you repot them. So I'm noticing the soil definitely has like our um, synthetic fertilizer in it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, and the red ruby begonia or the ruby red begonia, I can't really remember <laughs> which, what the syntax is. Um, this does like the kind of standard begonia care. So bright and direct light, these leaves would burn if I only have southern facing windows. Um, so I'm not gonna put them in my southern facing windows. If you have eastern or northern facing windows, that would work. I am gonna put them a little bit farther away from my southern facing windows or maybe in my grow light bookshelf, I'm not sure. But I've got this really cool pot that I ordered from Cocoa and Seed for a micro, for some microgreens that I grew. And it's a self-watering pot. So it's got holes in it. And it's like in this super sleek little holder. So I'm not gonna have this be self-watering. I'm just gonna take the string out and I'm gonna pot it up in this because it's the perfect size. I don't think this plant really needs to be potted up. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's not root bound at all, if you can see. It's a really grown beautifully. There's nice roots on the outside of it, but there's no roots circling around the bottom. So I am going to essentially pot it into the same size. This is like a little bit larger. And then I'm just gonna water this normally. I'll either bottom water it or water it from the top. And if water um, 
escapes into the bottom, I'll just dump it out. But I love how chic this pot is. I think it's gonna look adorable. So um, let's just get to repotting. So a few other things we learned about begonias in the podcast episode. I can't believe there's 1,800 species. Fun fact, American Gothic, the like famous painting, has two houseplants. So it's the woman and the man. And then behind them is um, on their porch of American Gothic, there are two houseplants. One is a Rex begonia and one is a Sansevieria. So um, if it's good enough for American Gothic, it's good enough for me. This is a really nice soil. It's got a lot of perlite in it. Um, and the soil is definitely damp. So I'm just kind of shaking that free. I'm going to pot up. Let's see. I'm going to put that there. I've got a Spoma Organic. That's what I always use. And I'm actually going to like mix it in with the old soil because... You don't want to shock the plant too much, and when you keep some of the soil from the old pot, it helps kind of preserve the microbiome that's been started. So I'm just going to add some more Espoma soil, which has pretty much the same amount of perlite in it. And then, for good measure, just a little bit of perlite. I'm experimenting with mixing perlite into all of my mixes these days because I think it's kind of fun. So it's the Espoma perlite, and you can... Check all of my favorite Espoma products in uh, my Amazon Espoma storefront if you're interested. Yeah, we've got a really nice airy mix now. So, yeah, I thought that American Gothic thing was fun. And Mark, who I interview, is the um, senior glass house coordinator. He, like, runs the botanical garden. And he's uh, awesome. And he just had so many great things to say. But yeah, they like a well-draining soil. They like um, bright and direct light, although there are some begonias that tolerate bright light. This is just not one of them. A lot of people have Rex begonias. A lot of people have... Um, I'm still in the market for an angel wing begonia. I have always wanted a begonia maculata, um, angel wing begonia, so I'm still kind of looking for one of those. Um, what other kinds are there? You know what? Tell me your favorite begonia in the uh, comment section below because I'm very new to this group of this family of plants. Um, I'm very new to it. I'm very intimidated. If you listen to the podcast, I'm very perplexed by begonias because I feel like they have these huge leaves and really skinny stems and I just don't understand the physics of how these big leaves are held up by these big stems. That's how I feel about a lot of aeroids as well. Um, but, yeah, let me know your favorite begonia because I'm definitely going to start expanding my collection after this awesome conversation I have with Matt. I mean, Mark. Um, yeah. So there we go. I potted it up. I'm going to give it a water. And I'm going to stick it in my pot. But I wanted to show you how freaking cute does that look? I wanted to show you. I brought my Pilea friends. Look at this. Look at, the, look at the similarities in the leaves. Our new BFFs. They're new plant BFFs. Um, so cute. And I brought my Pilea that's in semi-hydro as well because I'm just showing you these two. So cute. So anyway, short and sweet video. I'm so excited about this freaking plant. I can't believe I saw it at Cultivate. It's an, I think it's a new species being introduced to the market, an Optiflora is one of, I think, the only people that grow them. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, I was just browsing Amazon and I saw it, so I grabbed it. I think it's sold out on Amazon right now, but I'm gonna leave the Amazon link um, in the show notes below in case you wanna check it out and uh, take a look at my Instagram because I have a feeling this plant is gonna be on it a lot. So, plant friends, until next time, keep blooming and keep growing. Doom 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 doom